Finally. So this is the 60 volt Chai battery that I ordered on the Black Friday sale 2021. It just arrived. It is January 20th. And so it took a few extra weeks, but um, you know, with Black Friday sales like that, they get backed up with orders. So I was kind of expecting a little longer than normal, but super glad to have it now. Can't wait to test it out. So this is the regular 60 volt. The, they claim it's called the Focus on Extreme. So it is 60 amp hours, which is a little bit less than double the amp hours of the factory battery. Um, and it has a continuous power rating of 28 kilowatts, which is huge. Um, given, you know, even with a bypassed battery, stock battery, you can only run about seven kilowatts. 28 is much more than I will ever take advantage of. They do sell a couple other versions of the 60 volt. They have the 60 volt R, which is a similar 60 amp hour rating. So the range is just about the same. The difference would be that it is only power, it is only capable of seven kilowatts continuous power. So it's similar to what you'd get out of a stock bypass battery, but double range. And then they also have the 60 volt X, which is 51 amp hours. So a little bit less range, um, but it is also capable of 24 kilowatts power rating. So the X would be a good option if you don't need a ton more range, but you want the extra power. The 60 volt R would be great for uh, double range, but only about seven kilowatts of power. So about the same as a bypass battery. And then this bad boy is kind of the best of both worlds. The downside is that this battery is much larger than the other two. And so it does require some extra parts to install and it's not as easily swappable as the other two. Now, because it took a little longer than normal, um, Chai was super awesome and they threw in a free shirt for me. Super excited about that. Chai Battery Systems, definitely a great company. Um, you know, I reached out to them asking about time frame because it had been the four to six weeks that they estimate on their website. And, uh, you know, they, they explained the Black Friday sale rush and threw in a free shirt just because I reached out. So awesome to work with. This is a new plate. So this replaces the bottom plate on um, the bike replaces the stock plastic one. And then there's some hardware. Uh, I know you have to, the battery cover, you have to use these 3D printed linkages to make it rise higher to be able to cover the battery. And then there's you know the rest of the stickers and some hardware and some instructions. Okay. So, looks like I should open it up on the side. Everything looks nicely packaged. They use a ton of packing peanuts, which is good. And it's a box within a box, which helps even more. So you definitely don't want this thing getting damaged in shipping. Okay, so which side is the bottom? This looks like the bottom. Flip it over. Making a mess. It's okay, my garage is already a mess. All right, got her opened up. So this guy is ginormous, but it looks well made. Okay. So now I got this thing out, you can see, don't be as impatient as me. I accidentally cut the strap a little bit. Um, it's still holding, but definitely want to be gentle with the cutting off all that bubble wrap and tape. So it's got, you know, your output cable and there's some silicone covering the wires, make it waterproof. 
whole thing is covered and nice heat shrink uh, protection and then got the charging input so this is the same as your factory charger so the nice thing about sticking with the 60 volt is that you don't have to buy a new charger like you would with a 72 volt you can just use your factory charger they do sell a faster charger well it's variable so you can actually um, switch how many amps you want to charge at and then the nice thing is you can also charge it to a set percentage for storage on this side we have a little switch and when you hit the switch the screen comes on and you can see your battery percentage the top casing looks like it's 3d printed possibly abs or maybe asa it's a little hard to tell and then the manufacturer sticker so it's 3427 watt hours which is massive um, 59.5 amp hours it says 59.6 volts that's pro or it looks like 57.6 that's probably the voltage they measured at before sending it out that's not the full voltage and then the cell P42A I believe they're MOLA cells those are great cells and then we have our Bluetooth passcode I assume for being able to access the BMS to monitor all of our um, all of our cell voltages and probably set limits on low voltage charging voltage uh, and this, such things like that so just for comparison sakes got my stock 60 volt x260 battery next to the new chai battery 62 volt it is definitely larger but it's not as much as i thought it would be especially considering that you're getting double the amp hours out of the batteries so we'll see how this plays because i have the seat extender already and so i had to actually install this 3d printed part that came with the milk racing seat extender to actually contact the stock battery so what i'm hoping for is that um, once i remove this I might be able to get away with just using the battery lid um, without adding anything additional to get this new battery to fit in there. So we'll see. So I have it charging right now off the charger that came with my Segway X260. I know it looks a little different than the one that comes with the Suron, but they're essentially the same battery charger. and that. And a slow blinking red light means that it is in fact charging and I can see with the voltage percentage that it is going up so it is definitely charging using the stock charger which is awesome and the, the BMS that they put inside here it is bypassed on the output side but the input charger side is not bypassed so it will do the same balancing of all the cells um, just like it should to make sure the battery lasts a long time okay so i managed to get this thing in it was quite the feat i'm i was having a little extra trouble because this is my rear brake light uh, or i guess just rear light wiring and when i did the seat riser it became too short there's a little channel in the frame here and it normally runs through and then comes up out, but it was too short to go back in there. So I did have it zip tied here to this little 3D printed bracket that they use for the the uh, seat riser. Um, so I'm gonna have to probably either extend this wire or I might even actually remove it since I don't actually use the lights, but not a huge deal. The other issue is they do not mess around with how tight this thing fits in there. Um, so if you can see, there is no, no clearance on either side um, so these little screws that came with the the seat riser um, they stick through the back side there 
So they were, you know, showing a little bit of threads through the frame on this backside. So I actually had to unscrew them to be able to get this guy in. So what I'm gonna have to do is either cut these guys shorter, um, or actually what I'll probably end up doing is just going and finding some shorter ones that will fit in there and not extrude from, or protrude from the backside. So I am going to show you guys just how easy, I guess you could say, or hard this battery is to take out and put back in. And I haven't done the top lid yet, but this is just, just to demonstrate. So it is really in there. So basically you can get it just high enough to then be able to get my fingers underneath it and pull it up. So when they say this is kind of a, a semi-permanent battery installation, they aren't really joking around because of how tight it gets in there. So that's it out. And so try to get it back in real quick. So that went in much easier than the first couple times I've done it. Um, I think after a little while you kind of get used to it probably. 